Hello guys, today I want to introduce a tensional experiment simulation. As we can see in on the screen, this is a steel sample of test experiment. Let me show you the result. This is a half model of a sample. And we solved it with explicit server. So we can realize the element deletion. As we can see at the end of the simulation, the element in the middle of the sample has, has been deleted here. So the, the steel material is uh, has high strength and uh, and it's tough. Uh, here I have extracted a stress strain stress strain code of one node. As we can see, at this point, it reached failure point. We can change the code to observe. Here is the dress, and this is dream. The elastic stage, then plastic, and then go to failure. So, let me show you the process of the model creation. This is a simple model. There is only one part, and this part is the potential sample. It is a model to simulate the process. And in this model, the material property is the key point. So, as we can see, the material is HY. AT steel. I have defined the density, elastic, and plastic because it's solved by explicit server, so the density is needed. The plastic property, as we can see, the air stress is 689. Make a pass. So this is a elastic plastic material. There is a key point to realize that element deletion is the damage of the material. So here we have created a solid homogeneous section and assign it to this part. Then we go to step module. In step, I create the dynamic explicit step and simulation time is 0 0.05 seconds and the other we keep it. Here we use a mass scaling to increase the calculation speed. Here we scale it by 10,000 times so that the calculation speed is scaled. 100 times.
here we shorted the field output setup we choose the value fraction SDG and safe value damage initiation criteria and status to delete the valued elements of course we can create a reference point in to end surface so we can output the reaction and displacement curve but here I I forgot to create the reference point so this is the step module um, interaction here is no interaction need to create then get into the load module in this module we create the fixed boundary and the symmetric boundary the bottom surface we fix the u2 u1 u2 u3 degree freedom freedom degree and here is the pore surface in the second and in the step one we make it to move upward 7.334 millimeter and we need a amplitude curve As we can see, then we need a symmetric boundary here. So after all of this, we can go to mesh module. Here we make it texture element element. We get the his dominated element shape and the algorithm is medium axis and sweep method and the element size is 0 0.8. Here we <coughs> Define the element type is C3D8R. After all of this, we have created the model, but as we measured before, to realize the element deletion, we need to Define the damage criteria and uh, element deletion. Here we make the element deletion make it to yes. Then we need to change the it change the keywords here we used the tensor value and the shear value criteria and we can copy this to paste it at the plastic after the plastic keyword 
as we can see. There are two keywords that are just in different different rows. After we impacted them here, we click OK and then we can create the job and submit it. Then after completed calculation, we can see the results. So here is a stress strain curve of one node. Some elements has been deleted at the end of the simulation time. Because it is a quasi static simulation, we need to compare the energy. As we can see, this line is the kinetic energy, and this one is the uh, internal energy, and this one is the kinetic energy. As we can see, the kinetic energy is very small, and the internal energy is big. So we can trust this result. So this is a simple potential experiment simulation. Uh, if you want to get the CUMP files, just contact me by the email. If you like this tutorial, just um, subscribe my channel and give some support. Thank you for watching.